Hmm, electricity. That's right, BMW once again decided to make a proper electric car. Auto Actil was kind enough to lend one of their i3 for our test. i3 is a fully electric vehicle with a glimpse of the future. A glimpse of how we all will be driving in a decade or two across cities and suburbs. We really like the looks of the small car and people often recognize it as something interesting and different from what they're used to. Actually, the i3 reminds us of something from a long time ago. Yep, it reminds us of the BMW Isetta from 1955. Although made under a license, BMW changed the model a bit and put in their own engine. But they have to thank Isetta for something else as well. It rescued them from going bust. The electric dream started at the Olympic Games in Munich in 1972, when BMW brought two models 1602, which were converted into fully electric vehicles. However, the 350 kg heavy lead batteries and a range of only 60 km meant the prototypes were not really suitable for mass production. There's also the BMW E1 from 1991, which looks like a... uh... never mind. It had a 160 km range and was made from light materials. How far they've gotten with technology. And the result is today's BMW i3. Under the bonnet, we find a small compartment for the charger and cables, as well as perhaps a small bag. But that's not the only special thing about it. The back doors are rear hinged. times, Volkswagen created their first Beetle. It became very popular later on and actually the preferred method of transportation for hippies. Perhaps because it was cheap, because it was reliable and also because it sort of became the symbol for flower power. This car will also become their preferred method of transportation. Why? For very different reasons. Marijuana. Make no mistake though, industrial marijuana. i3 follows modern trends of being green with energy and materials. The door and dashboard covers are made from industrial hemp. Seat covers are made from 40% shorn wool. The car also uses wood from eucalyptus trees and olive leaves. tires. They're actually comically narrow. They are 20 inch, but still extremely narrow for such a car. But that's all in the name of very low rolling resistance and thus lower energy consumption. And then you'll say, ah, such a car is just gonna go in a straight road, but what about curves? The handling must be terrible. You'd be wrong. The car has a very low center of gravity thanks to the batteries which line the floor, which are very heavy. The chassis is made from very light but strong carbon fiber, and the rest from plastics. If you were to discharge the batteries completely, you can charge them up at home, providing you got back there, in about 8 hours to 85%. 
If you were to find yourself at a dedicated charging station, there's also the fast charging option. Provided is the charger, which is a little bigger than your normal smartphone charger. It doesn't have a USB or micro USB. And then you simply plug in the other end into... Shit. What about speed? Electric cars were usually slow and boring. This BMW i3, not so much. 0 to 100 km per hour takes only 7.2 seconds, which is faster than many modern cars. It's definitely fun pressing the throttle in the future. It looks futuristic, it handles well, the acceleration is awesome, and you're not spewing toxic fumes into the environment. All of that for 36,550 euros. But Auto Aktiv didn't just give us the car for a test. We also accompanied Igor Stefancic, who cycled for 25 hours for Radio Kran's 25th anniversary. The car did it without any problems, especially since it had the optional petrol generator to fill the batteries. We, on the other hand, were beat the next morning. <laughs>